A special gift today for the University of South Alabama Library. They were given the complete archive of the Honor Flight South Alabama project. It's a story we've been following for years now. Nearly 1,000 World War II veterans from the Gulf Coast were flown to Washington, D.C. to see the World War II Memorial. Well, that was a thrill and a service for the veterans. The program also accomplished another mission. News 5's Bill Riles explains. In these boxes resides the complete history of Honor Flight South Alabama. Documents, pictures, video, and the service record of each of the 957 World War II veterans who took the flight. More than five years after the final Honor Flight, it's all being donated to the University of South Alabama Marks Library. The jewel of the archives will be the first person handwritten personal notes of every veteran that flew on the honor flight. Veterans like Robert Spielman and Cy Lichtenfeld, who both remember their flight to their memorial in Washington and the welcome home they never got when they returned from the war. Go back home, go to work, go to school. But, uh, that's, that's what we did. You got off a train yep. and you just automatically stepped into civilian life. Uh, the only homecoming that was really was family. This gift to the library is important because it helps further document the service of the hundreds of veterans to ensure their service isn't forgotten. It's incredibly valuable just to have their own, um, their own stories and their own words. Thoughts that probably the families don't even know. In all, there'll be about 16 to 18 boxes full of this archival material from the Honor Flight South Alabama program that's being donated to the library. It'll take about six to eight months to go through it all, and that's an optimistic figure. Dr. Barry Booth has kept these archives until now, is emotionally giving them up, but he knows they're in the right hands. At the University of South Alabama, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5. And an Honor Flight Legacy Reunion is being planned for Saturday, October 13th at Battleship Park. Be sure to look for this story for information on WKRG.com.